Hey everyone, it's Kyle and welcome to the third session of Two Minute Wine School. In the last session we talked about soil texture and the ways that it can adjust heat, water, and nutrient availability for the vine. In this session, we'll build on that and break down the soils of a few of the world's wine regions. Terms like alluvium, colluvium, and lus tell us about how soils got where they are. And that can also tell us a bit about their composition and texture. Alluvium is soil deposited by the flow of water, colluvium by gravity, and lus by wind. Alluvial fans, for example, refer to the way that sediment is carried by the flow of water down a slope. Larger gravel is deposited at the top, and finer clay flows down to the bottom. Napa Valley is a perfect example where the gravelly sites at the top of the slope are known for producing very robust and ripe red wines. Knowing a soil's origin, that is to say limestone, basalt, or shale, that can tell us a bit about how the soil behaves. Basalt, a volcanic rock, erodes easily into sand-sized particles with low water retention, low nutrient availability, and a black color that amplifies the heat of the sun. In the Canary Islands, this lack of water leads to very small berries with concentrated flavors, and a sort of underripe tannin that comes across as savory in its red wines. Slate, a metamorphic rock, fractures easily into sheets and a vine's root system grows into those cracks in search for water. It also captures heat and distributes it throughout the night, so in the otherwise cool region of Mosul in Germany, uh, this additional heat makes the difference between underripe and fully ripened Riesling. Limestone, which is a sedimentary rock composed of ancient mollusks and coral, is susceptible to chemical erosion, which results in large rocky fragments over a layer of clay. And the Kimmeridgian era chalk of Chablis, which is a type of limestone, is famously white enough to reflect sunlight back up at the vines. And limestone's high calcium carbonate content prevents soil acidification and makes nutrients more available to the vine, which allows the Chardonnay of Chablis to develop its characteristic nuance. Overall, the question of how soil impacts wine is incredibly complicated, and the most modern research is trying to understand how, if a wine does not actually absorb minerals. Sometimes we get the sense that it does. But thank you so much for joining us again today, and we'll see you tomorrow.